get your phone? Stand up. Can you tell us the difference between past and present tense? staring like you moron. No, I was thinking about what the headmaster, what the headmaster said yesterday. Mm. So what did the headmaster say yesterday? Okay. The headmaster said that any person that did not pay his or her school fees before the end of the month will be expelled from the school. <laughs> How does that concern this class? That is what the headmaster said yesterday is past tense. Yeah. And how a Jofo is feeling about what the headmaster said is present tense. It can Shh. Hmm? Fem? Mister, not too much. Did I ask you any question? No, teacher. You see, you're supposed to show concern on how your people feel about what the headmaster said. He can now. He can now. If you say anything again about what the headmaster said yesterday, eh, I will drive you out of this class. Come, are you the one paying for your school fees? I no, but and we all know that our father will not be able to pay our school fees before the end of this month. So he's supposed to help us, please, and beg our headmaster. He can now. Oh yeah, leave this class now, before the count of three. And should I carry my bag? Everything. Oh yeah. One. Two. Hey, you are just walking like that. Three. I will go with you because if you reach your now, you will eat the food alone. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Huh? What if you should eat this class? Uh, uh, the headmaster said yesterday. The headmaster said today. Uh, look up. You shouldn't have talked to the woman like that. Why? Is she your mother? Why can't she she show concern at least for for, for our, our problems? Can I see now we are out of the class? It is even better that you that you went out of the class like that than allowing the headmaster to come and pursue us just because of school fees. Don't you know, sir? Can no can I? What are we going to do now? If we go, we tell our father our problem. If he refuses to listen to us, fine. Then what we do, we take our decision. Okay? It's a school and come back without fighting. What is wrong with both of you? Eh? I said, come back here. I'm asking both of you. Why did you come home so soon? Say something before I descend on you. Say something. Papa. Yes. The headmaster said that we should bring our school fees. Mm. Otherwise, we should not come back to that school again. Mm. I see. 
Okay. Go in. Go and change your addresses. I'll see what I'll do about it. Papa. Papa. Yes. Is there any food inside? Forget it. My friend. Your mates are sitting in the classroom. You should wait when your mates close it from the classroom and come back to their, their, their houses and start eating the afternoon food. Then you will be qualified for afternoon food. Do you hear me? Go in now! Papa, what are you going to do about our school fees? That's what I am thinking about. I will surely do something. to raise the school fees. Huh? Now go back to school. Thank you, Baba. Uh -huh. Baba, uh, what uh, of my own? The money I gave to you can for both of you. Baba? Yes? But everything is not up to our, our school fees now. Uh, don't worry. Just take it to your teacher. Uh, I will complete it. Tell her that I'll complete it next week. Baba? Yes. Why is the money not complete now? Uh, it is not complete because it can never be complete. But Baba, other parents' phone are always complete. Why is it that it is only our money that has never been complete? The money can never be complete because I, 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 I'm not doing a complete man's job. Night watchman is not a complete man's job. Take it to your uh, school. The headmaster will understand. No, go. We are not going anywhere. Huh? The money. I come here. What do you mean? You must go to school. You, you, you must go to school. Two plus six is four plus two is seven. Two plus. Good morning. Why are you coming to school by this time? Because after that, Are you now with your school fees? Okay, bring it. Let me register it. No, Auntie, take it easy now. We'll give you the money after. Look, I am not ready to teach people who have not yet paid their school fees. Eh? If you are not ready to pay your school fees, go. Let me teach those who have paid. No, Auntie, we are not quarreling now. We'll give you the school fees. But do the teaching first, then we'll give you the school fees. Are you bringing the money or not? This money is for one person or two. And I said that this money is for two of us only. The money is not complete. And why is it not complete? It is not complete and it can never be complete. Ah, well, I see that two of you have tampered with the money your father gave you for your school fees. Hmm? Today, eh, I will teach you never ever to tamper with your school fees. And you will not tamper with the money. This is how it was when our father gave it to us. Mm -hmm. I only put it inside my bag and I did not touch it. If you know that you are telling me the truth, tomorrow, if you are coming to school, bring your father. No, yes, no bring your father. what he's doing, you never, never agree. Even if they invite him for PTA meeting, you will not attend. That's too bad. Hey, long time. Long time. 
What are you two doing here? You are supposed to be in school by now. But how does it concern you? Uh -huh. See, is this your school uniform? <laughs> so you look at me and I still look like a schoolboy, eh? Oh, wait, look, I am bigger than that. Hmm? I am now a business tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, businessman. Who made you a businessman? Oh, you think I'm joking? I don't go to school anymore. Yes, you don't go to school again. Yes. Just because your father cannot pay your school fees. That's not true. That's not true. Look, there's no future in going to school now. Hmm? Waste of time. What matters now is the money, cash, uh, ego. Uh, Anto, how did you become a businessman? <laughs> One of my uncles that sells um, electronics at Iweka Road, he came and arranged with my dad. So I'm now in on the making money. Gosh. <laughs> See, let me tell you, if you don't go to school, you'll be an illiterate. That is far, far, far better than being a poor man after wasting all your precious time in your so-called school. See? I, I will go to the city with you. Um, please, could you help me and tell your uncle so that you arrange and take me to Tony's house? Ah, mm, no, don't worry. See, eh? after two years with him, one, two, <laughs> he will open my own shop for me. Hmm? Then I'll come and take you to stay in my shop. To come and do what? To serve me now. Go, we can't serve anybody. We'll come to your shop to come and serve you. Say lie. Me and my brother can never serve you. Do you hear me? <laughs> Look, no matter your standard of education, hmm, you will have to serve someone that is richer than you. Hmm? Someone yeah, like me. Me and my brother hmm? will go to the city and make money. Yes. We will for someone that will serve us. We will not serve anybody. We will not serve you. He has money. I have money, but he will go to school. This was what if, if. If we go to Anisha, then we will go to school. We we'll go to school first, then we we'll, we'll, we'll think of going to Anisha. Right. Don't you think it's better we we'll go and go to Anisha first? No, no. Money is waiting for us there. And after our school, then we we'll go there and do business. school I saved the money I gave them. Papa, we cannot continue this way. Just tell us that you cannot take care of our school. Yes, Papa. Schooling. Look at our school uniforms. See, 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 Papa. See, 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 see our dress. See, see. They are the worst in the school. Don't worry, my children. Hey, don't worry. Hey. I will buy you new, brand new uniform. Papa. You will have no problem. That's always what you say. What else do you want me to say, my, my, my son? Papa, just tell us that you can't take care of our school any longer. Papa, whether, it, whether you tell us or not, it does not matter. We have made the decision. Eh? Huh? Yes. What have you decided to do? Papa, we have decided to have a change of scene. I can't be schooling without school fees, food, or even good clothes to wear. I say, just give me a little time. Mm -hmm. Then I will supply all you need. Hmm? Give me a little Papa, time. You give us a little time too. We we'll supply you, give you, and buy you all you need. Papa, see, all our mess are in Iweka Road and the Sabongari Market making money for their parents. While we are being thrown out of school every day just because of our school uniform or even school fees. Or that it has thrown like that. Or, or because of textbooks. Hey, look. Why do they make take it easy? Eh? You see this up in work, I wrote on it, I went on the top. Process! Someone get in market. Forget about them for now. 
Finish your education and everything be added on to you. Papa, we have made up our mind. We are moving to town. The poverty here is too much. Poverty. Poverty, I don't know. My wife abandoned me for another man simply because of, I cannot meet up with her needs. Now, my children want to abandon me too because I cannot afford their school uniform and their school fees. Poverty. Poverty. Why do you want to put me to shame? Sure! It can't happen. Um, you can't your boy. Come and take this thing inside. I'm going to deal with poverty. for you to eat after school. Huh? Papa? Yes. How did you suddenly come about this? Ah, I sold that piece of land at Ugocha. So, Papa, what will be your profit after wasting all the money on school fees and school uniforms? Oh, my profit is to make sure that you boys have brighter future. Oh. What better future is there? I mean, I mean, I mean, is there in education? Look at all our teachers are poor. Even all the whole education that they have, and you are talking about a better future. Yes, Papa, and they will stop everything they are doing. The moment they see a future with school fees, not only themselves. Once, once they drive into our school compound with a car, you see people who leave their seat, they will run out and they, they will greet the person. Hey, Uncle, welcome, Uncle, welcome. Is that the kind of uh, bright future you are planning for us? Papa, see, you, you want us to serve our mates? No way. We will not go back to that school, Papa. If there is any future in that school, go to school yourself. Look huh? at the floor bid where they flogged us last week. You see what I'm talking about. Papa, in fact, if you want a bright future for us, go and call us a businessman from either Lagos, Kanu, or Onisha. So that we'll go to the person's shop and be selling for him. Over my dead body. What's wrong with all of you? Look, under no circumstances, should anybody come here and pick it up my child as an apprentice? How okay. can? My friend, you must all go back to school. Oh, yeah, get up. Carry your school you go. Go, 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 You must go to school. We've had 
had enough of this. Today, we have decided to suspend you till the headmaster comes back. Do you understand? That means I don't want to see you in my class again. I don't even want to see you near this school compound. Do you hear me? Ah. Authority has finally suspended us. Now. So Papa will know no more. He will never, never in his life force us to go to school again. Now, Papa will be first to allow us to go and do business. Hey, but what? What if Papa refuses to allow us to follow somebody? No. We'll find our way to the city and find business for us to do. You see, we will make money and come back to this village. We will visit our school. By the time we reach there, we will see our teacher. Our teacher will come out and say, Job for you can not give me a little the way you greet rich people. Yeah. And I will do like this. I will come out and I will tell her, I will just put my hand inside my pocket and bring her 5,000 and say, Madam, just manage this 5,000 naira. And then I will come and see me in my office. Yeah, I will not give you anything. I will tell her, Auntie, you see your life? Your life has burned. The job for you know before that you used to insult and even some school fees. Uh -huh. It's not a rich man. The job can be able to pay your salary now for one year. And your life has changed. So uh, and you well, well, walk like this. Well, I'm gonna. And the. You might be thinking that if you call never you use it, you flog your hand. You use your motor and slap her with my money. I think. Children up there. I don't know whom you are talking about. Not two small children like that. I don't see any. I don't see any. I don't see any. Oh, my children. What do you like to do? place of poverty. Thank God, too. If you make money, we'll go back to the house. Rebuild our house. Make it an upstairs. Jovo, 
Oh. Let's find somewhere and sit down and at least eat before we continue. No, 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 no. See, our father will be looking for us. If we stay one place now, he will catch us. Let's keep moving. It's impossible. Our father cannot get us. In fact, we are miles away from the village. He doesn't even know the road that we took. So, he can't get us. Let me see that the sun is too hot. Let's keep moving. is deaf and dumb. He... Yeah. Who are you referring to as deaf and dumb? I am not a native doctor. Uh, sorry. But you look like a native doctor. I said I am not a native doctor. Uh -uh. My name is Okparaku. Come. Besides, what are you two small boys doing outside here at this time of the day? You are supposed to be in school. We are going to nowhere in particular. But we are looking for where we can make money. <laughs> and what are you two small boys going to do with money? Eh? We want to help our parents. Eh? What about them? We are orphans. We we don't have parents. Uh, please don't remind us of what we have forgotten. Mm. Our parents died. What happened to your parents? You know, during one of these heavy rainfalls, our house collapsed. I, I fall on top of our parents, they died. Hey, uh, what a sad story. <laughs> you said you want to make money. Uh, we want to go to any commercial town and make money. Mm. Anyway, I can assure you, hmm? I can assure you that you have the potentials to make money. Uh, because if I take you to town and you tell this kind of lies, people will give you money and you are going to make every money. We are not lying. We are offers. Uh, I know, yes. And the rain fell and uh, the house collapsed on top of your parents, I know. Mm, but you see, you have to polish the lies. Eh? So that intelligent people will not know that you are telling lies. Eh? Don't worry, I will take you to the town. Mm? We shall make money there. Eh, Ngwan. Let us go. Wait, wait, wait. Those cars pass, we have to wait for them to come. Go, go. Eh.
500 naira. <laughs> Not bad. Boys, we have made a total of 2,500 naira. Not bad at all. Hmm? Very good. Yes, now, I um, want us to realize that um, we are three in this business. And since we are three, we have to share the money uh, together, which will make uh, eight, 800 naira at least. Hmm? Uh, but if we now have to subtract our expenses, we will be poorer. So I suggest that we should work very hard to raise enough capital to start a bigger business. Hmm? Um, but we are hungry. Ah. Uh, well, let us go and eat with extra meat this time. Hmm? <laughs> Associate. Yeah? There is one question that has been bothering me, which I want to ask you. What is it? Um, how did you know that we were lying when we told you that our parents were dead and that we were fans? <laughs> it was your body movement. Mm. You see, your eyes were not agreeing with the words that were coming out from your mouth. Even you did not believe the story. Now, but now you believe your parents are dead. Eh, it is easier for you to convince other people that they are dead. You understand? <laughs> and we're not. Uh, let, us, uh, let us go and enjoy ourselves. Hmm? Well, let's go. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Wait. Uh, no, 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 it's a simple thing. See, there, there are two things. Is that is a gift for a talent? But to you, I know it's a talent. I'm 
I say my two children are missing. I said my two children are missing. Okay. Are they here? If you know where you keep your children, go there and look for them. Huh? Oh. You mean you cannot even help me to look for my children or even take down my statement? Yeah. You are now teaching me my job. Oh yeah. This is Pepper. This is Ben. Write your name and their names and attach you to two passport of photograph and go home and pray. So, you cannot help me to look for my children, eh? Oga, okay, we are trained to look for only criminals, unless they are criminals. Sure! God forbid, my children are not criminals. Oh yeah, if they, if they don't come back after two weeks, they come to us. Why must I come back? Why? Eh? Why? By then they must have become hardly, hardly, hardly criminals.
Are these not Kotoku's missing children? Up. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah? Ikena, Ejofa. What are you doing here? Help, help. help us. Help. Oh, you are pretending. You don't know me again. Don't you know me again? What's the problem? These boys are from my village, Joe. Yeah. Their father is my friend. They have been missing for a very long time. We have even reported to the police. So I was surprised passing along and seeing them begging for arms here. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Nguano, do you know this man? Everybody knows our story. Our father is dead. Yeah, but this man, this man is that wicked uncle that I told you. That made us run away from our village. This man was trying to kill us so that he will inherit our father's property. Shut up! What what do you do? Where my dad? It's a lie! What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Look, I will take you up today. Society, unlike you can manage your fall. 